Hello and welcome to the mid-month check-in for the sign of Gemini. Happy birthday to all of you celebrating uh, this month or uh, even late last month. I hope you're doing well and I appreciate you being with me. Gemini, uh, before recording this reading, I sat with Spirit and received um, what felt like kind of a heavy message for you. So the group I'm reaching today, you're wearing a brave face for those around you, but there's something that you feel deep inside of you, something that maybe you're challenged with, that you need to talk about. You want to get something off your chest. And what Spirit said is, there's a special someone who's ready to listen. Now, this could be a mentor. This could be, you know, somebody you really look up to. This could be someone who's more understanding than you may realize, I'm hearing. Wow. Okay. So, Gemini, let's find out what's going on with this situation. And, um, yeah, let's see. Let's see what Spirit has for you. Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Crosswatcher. What do you need to know? Door to Spirit. Could be that Spirit is ready to hear you. This could be about connecting with the Divine, deepening your own spirituality. Maybe you're going through an awakening and you're trying to understand what the heck is happening to you. Okay, Gemini, let's see what needs to come through. Beautiful. The sun. New beginnings. Fresh start. Blessings. The culmination of something important. Hmm. Okay. Bottom of the deck. The garden and the gate. Somebody is in a comfort zone. Somebody needs to step out of that comfort zone. Okay. We have professional assistance. Again, um, someone you look up to, a mentor, a guide. This could be like counseling in some way, career counseling. Someone who's maybe navigated something before you and can help you do it. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's an exciting idea that you have. We have the honoring path. I love this. I, I feel like this is being recognized for something that um, was maybe a a difficult thing you've traversed or a decision you made but but ultimately was like the right thing to do journey a trip this could be metaphorical this could be a, a spiritual journey you've been on okay wow top of the deck angels of the four directions bottom of the deck beneath this we have true love victim mentality community milestone possibilities, joyous fun, blossoming abundance. Ooh, there's some nice things. Um, I, I was going to say hidden. Interesting, hidden. I just saw 333. Three, three. All right, Gemini, what's going on? What is happening in your world at this time that you need to navigate? <laughs> Are you learning patience, <laughs> temperance? Um, it came out sideways. Maybe there's something you're trying to uh, moderate or, or you know, kind of keep in check. Are you feeling though as though something is um, taking forever and you're getting a little anxious? I'll leave it up, right? But note that, please. All right, we have judgment, truth in this deck. Maybe you don't want to be judged about something. Okay, we have material and spiritual prosperity, the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Something is, I'm hearing, misaligned, out of whack. Hmm, okay. And maybe it's something you're trying to navigate to bring back into balance. This could be about a relationship. You know, Judgment Day could be about a relationship you're uh, trying to bring back together or discern or repair. We have the hanged man and I'm really noticing all of the major arcana. Wow. At the bottom of the deck, magician, hierophant, nine of swords, the moon, death, 
partnerships and alliance, the Three of Wands and the Empress. All right, let's get one more. What are you navigating? This is pretty big energy, it feels like. The waiting game. Waiting for the right time. Trying to muster the, you know, the guts to say or do something. We have strength. Memories of love, the Six of Cups. I feel like the sacrifice in whatever this situation is, is the ability or the openness to like let something go to start something new. Now, whether you're going through this or this is the energy of somebody you're connecting to, it's a pretty big decision. Whatever this decision is for this person, I feel like there's potentially some uh, consequences for whatever the decision is. Let's get some clarifiers and find out what this is about. Let's look at temperance, patience. Is this about right timing? The Six of Pentacles upright. This could be, you know, kind of getting on your feet in some certain regard. I don't know if this is, you know, um, paying something back, someone back, someone paying you back. Knight of Cups, let's see what else. This could be support from someone who cares about you. The three of wands, six of wands. I think what you're trying to do is set the record straight in a way so that you can proceed with something with, I don't know, clean slate, clear conscience, um, no baggage. I'm kind of getting, I, I've, I've got to look ahead. I've got to look ahead. What is judgment, truth? What is that energy about, spirit? Judgment, truth. The Knight of Pentacles and the Star. Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. High Priestess, Page of Pentacles, Tower. One more, the Nine of Cups. This is, this is the turnaround, but it is a big decision. And, and I'm kind of feeling like um, someone is highlighting for you or you're highlighting for someone um, a way through. The star is about healing and restoration and so is temperance really. It's about, it's about finding that, that moderation, that place of balance within yourself, within a relationship. Is this a coming together? We have a chariot at the bottom of the deck. Is, is this putting a plan into place? Knight of Pentacles, what is this about? I think it's, it's correcting this, whatever that is. And interestingly, the Seven of Pentacles is at the bottom of the deck. Maybe you're waiting for the right time, like everything that you have worked hard to achieve, um, you know, whether it's money in the bank or a promotion or the next level of something. Uh, maybe it's a goal you've set for yourself and, and getting to that goal or achieving something around that goal feels like um, you need to hit the reset button on either how you feel about something, what you do. It, it's, it's muddy, actually, for me, the Hierophant. Your commitments may be tested. There may be something that you are contractually obligated to. Four of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. Five of Wands, Moon. What are you holding back? I, f I feel like there's something that is motivating you in a really big way, Gemini. And um, what you want to do about it, it's almost like you're containing. Look at this, like I'm holding back. I'm, I'm taking a while, my back is turned, but I've got this, this, you know, fire, this idea, this thing that I want to do. And maybe you have to wait for the right time or the right audience to say what's on your mind. 
to, you know, to pull the trigger on an idea, to act on something that you're really excited about. What, what is the sacrifice then? Because I'm kind of getting, <laughs> interestingly, a duality here. Hanged man. Yeah, you're holding back. You might be deliberately keeping yourself stuck out of maybe, I don't know, caution. That, I don't know, maybe there's something you, there's something that would be an unintended, unintended consequence for you or the people around you. And you're like, I better be careful with this magician. There could be a perception of you that you, you need to sort of reset. What am I seeing here? We've got the tower and the moon. There's some fear. <laughs> it's like, okay, what, what's going to happen here? Anger, outburst. We've got the lovers, six of cups, the sun. What's that? Page of swords. You may feel monitored or you're monitoring someone else. What are, what are you carefully concealing? <laughs> what are you carefully concealing? The Empress and this one wanted to flip up. The Hanged Man. Anything else? Ten of Wands in reverse. This could be your own ideas. It could be a person, um, someone else. Someone else may feel like there, there is a burden of truth around a decision. It could be regarding um, a long-term partner, a mother figure. We have the world in reverse with the devil something isn't done i feel like whoever is in the hanged man energy this could be you it could be that there there is an idea that can't get off the ground because someone is like stuck and it could be that they're stuck in a relationship this is feeling confusing what is it you need to decide upon i'm going to get a new deck what are you needing to decide upon that you're waiting on? The Five of Swords. This is a tricky situation because I, I feel like if there's something that you gain or someone gains from this, someone else loses. Page of Wands, Three of Wands. And this could literally be like a change of plans, moving on, something you need to say that pivots you or something in a new direction. The fool in reverse, the star in reverse. You don't want to make a wrong move. You don't want attention on something. Um, you know, we have it up right here. I feel like the, I feel like this is being in the spotlight for some reason. Why the star reverse? I'm getting a very unique meaning for this. Ah, uh, people have their eye on you or you have your eye on someone if this is reverse. People are being really observant. What is, what is it that you need to know about the person who's willing to listen? Let's, let's pull their energy. What does Gemini need to know about the person who's willing to listen? Okay, they want to spend some time with you. They want to clear karma. Maybe there's something that you can learn from something they've been through. What is it you need to know about the person willing to listen? Yeah, wow, there's a lot of energy. All right, fixing what's broken. There's a course correction happening. It, it could be that if this is between the two of you only, there is, uh, yeah, wow, yeah. <laughs> They're confused, you're confused. If you're resonating with this reading, something needs to get cleared up. And I don't know if, 
if there's something about this that could be corrected if if only you like tried a different approach you know the crumpled up paper is like a writer saying nah you know writer's block I'm just going to pitch that idea let's try again you know if what you've wanted to say didn't come out right if what they've wanted to say didn't come out clearly um, maybe I just heard straight shooter okay um, be, be clear be real be obvious Hmm. The universe has a plan. Renewal. Let's look at some truth. What is the truth that needs to come through for Gemini? You place too much emphasis on me. It makes me uncomfortable. All right. Someone knows they're being observed and they don't like it. <laughs> and I, you know, whether this is an observation of you or your observation of someone else. Um, what? Do, okay, uh, I'm going back to my notes. Something challenging you that you want to get off your chest. There is someone ready to listen. I don't know if this is a misperception, if someone's reputation has kind of been, you know, tarnished. Please don't overthink it. Okay. I'm afraid to hurt your feelings. If this is cryptic, I think it's cryptic for a reason. As a reader, I feel it. It's weird. I will, I will be accountable for my actions. Maybe it's time to say goodbye. My past haunts me. Whoa. Whoa. Are you the person willing to listen to this person? What is, what is the, the crux of the situation for Gemini? Impasse. Nothing to do but wait, a stalemate, stuck in indecision. That's this energy. That's the hanged man energy. Um, wow. What, what needs to get cleared up, spirit? Um, let's get a deeper message. <laughs> I'm choosy with my decks on this one. Let's, let's figure out what the heck needs to get cleared up. Someone wants to do the right thing. And maybe this is just simply being clear with you. You know, maybe they've written you several messages. I mean, I realize people don't write longhand anymore. It's all electronic. But maybe there was something they wanted to say and it just, it just was muddy. And maybe the, the message here is, just be clear, like truth should always be well received. Difficult maybe, yes, but it's better than a lie. It's better than muddiness or confusion. Wow, dream thief, refusal of the call. Eye of the needle, intentionality. Horseman. Herald of Change and Perfect Storm, the courage to step into life, lost compass, getting back to integrity. That's what this is about. It's about truth. It's about transparency. It's about truth. Someone, okay, I'm, I'm hearing someone has developed a pattern of... Um, Um, not seeing things, not revealing, not seeing the truth of things. This is really cryptic and weird. But what I'm getting is that um, that pattern of relating, that pattern of presenting themselves isn't working. It hasn't, it hasn't boded well for relationships. Um, wow, this is, this is starting to like, spiral. 
I feel as though um, there is a sense that while someone has not been willing to step into something, the people around them know exactly where their, um, what their intentions are and, and what their direction is where they're going and why they're doing it. it. It it's almost like somebody's being called out. Does that make sense? Gosh, I hope so. Cuz for me as a reader, this feels really um kind of cryptic and it's because it's applying to a lot of different situations. What is the strongest energy around the conversation that must take place, the truth that must be told? or the truth that must be observed if, if it's not coming to you. Like if you're in a state of confusion, what does spirit want you to know about this? Oof. It's a, it's a really muddy energy, guys. Trust your intuition. We have abundance, which is kind of an interesting energy to come out with that. This could be related to work. Um, maybe, I don't know, something about money. If, if, if that's not relevant in your case, don't take it. Consciousness. The burden. I'm seeing a visual of you, you see behind the facade of something. I think somebody feels that you know it. Does that make sense? Oh my God, Gemini. If, if what you know and what you have reflected back to someone has been burdensome for them, um, I feel like the next step with this is we, we've got to clear the air. We've got to air the laundry. We have to put on the table what we've all skirted around because we see it, we smell it, we know it, and it, it may be difficult. Are you waiting for someone to do this? This is interesting. Um, let's take a look at what you are being shown, Gemini. Weathering the storm, strength and resilience are being tested. Are you willing to stick it out? Look at that. What are you willing to do to change your circumstances for the better? Coming back around, the past is not done. There's a reason you're revisiting this. And here's that duality I picked up. Passions, discovering what lights you up, leaving behind what doesn't. There is a strong energy of needing to discern truth. And coming back around doesn't mean a person, but it could. It could be that you find yourself right back where you were before, and you're like, I, you know, I don't want to do that. If someone else is feeling this way, it's like, okay, here we go again. What are we going to do differently? I need to be viewed in a positive light. I need to see this or someone um, for, for maybe, you know, who they are. I, I just, I kind of feel like between you and whatever situation you find yourself is, um, a, a, a deep cavern, a, a murky, muddy, veiled, and, um, indiscernible energy that you're trying to navigate. Have you put yourself there? Did someone else put you there? Is it a repeat performance? Oh, God, this got deep. Okay, bottom of the deck, doing what's right. Demonstrate accountability, integrity, and strong character, however uncomfortable. Gemini, <clears throat> what is spirit's guidance around this? Don't let pride get in your way is at the bottom of the deck. What do you need to release? Emotions are running high. Expect 
powerful change. Spirit, how is this conversation going to go? How is the conversation going to go? Okay, we have the Nine of Wands in reverse that landed in my lap. Three of Pentacles, the Queen of Wands. Well, I, th I think somebody is um, boldly making the first move. <laughs> I'm kind of getting, okay, you know, I, if I need to be the one to bring this together, to either find cohesion within the group of people I'm working with or, or to show a willingness to sort of compromise and um, get to end of job, I, I, I've got to let go of any um, feelings of, well, I haven't gotten anywhere before, right? Nine of Wands in reverse. It's like, okay, I'm going to give in. I don't think this is about accepting failure. I, I feel like this is, if I've stood my ground in a particular, you know, situation, maybe what I can do is let somebody have a little bit of rope. And if they hang themselves with it, they hang themselves with it. But I, I have to be willing to show that, you know, I'm, I'm bigger than the issue we face and I'm going to step into it. Anything else? How will the conversation go? Oh, Nine of Wands. <clears throat> Somebody's definitely concerned and regretful, remorseful. Well, you know, if you're on the receiving end of someone's emotions, um, regret, apology, perhaps, maybe this is just, you know, kind of being the bigger person and allowing them to alleviate that burden whether it's an apology or, or something. Um, Knight of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, King of Swords, Four of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, King of Cups, Emperor Death. Whew. What is Spirit's advice for you? Let go of the pain of the past, replacing it with love and compassion. Expectations. Are you aligned and are your expectations reasonable? Yeah, three of, three of pentacles. Getting to um, a place of, you know, we, we all benefit from this. Love language. This is about differing um, viewpoints, personalities, the way you love values, introspection, flow, restoration, being the peacekeeper. Okay, Gemini, Whew, this is complicated. And Spirit said, don't worry, Barbara, don't try to figure out the what it is for Gemini. Gemini knows. But I think that what's happening here is someone wants um, to make it right. And it's been hard to face what was made wrong in the first place. So they may humbly come to you, right? Not guarded, um, feeling regret. And this is perhaps about, you know, you remaining open-minded. Yep, mending. Okay, Gemini, I'm going to leave it there. I hope this was helpful, and I hope you and the person or people you're dealing with can uh, come together and make, make nice. <laughs> Okay, I'll leave it there. Happy birthday, Gemini, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.